The state's takeover of Houston ISD is in full swing this morning. Their newly appointed superintendent already on the job addressing so-called struggling schools. Now, the Houston Chronicle reports Mike Miles is focusing on 29 different campuses where staff, including teachers and principals, will all have to reapply for their jobs. Several teacher groups are planning to protest this move later on this week. Well, the Texas Education Commissioner's appointment of Mike Miles has left many veteran educators in Texas scratching their heads. You see, Mike Miles left Dallas ISD after three very turbulent, very controversial years with little experience as a superintendent. His name is Mike Miles. He's only been a superintendent a short period of time and both times with questionable success. Rena Honey is the head of the largest teachers union in Dallas. There was turmoil in Colorado Springs when he came to Dallas from there. There was turmoil and there are still some ramifications of that in Dallas today. And I think you'll see the exact same thing happen in, um, in Houston. Miles is currently the operator of a small Colorado-based group of charter schools called Third Future. He was selected by TEA Commissioner Mike Morath, who, as a DISD trustee, voted to hire Miles in Dallas in 2012. But Miles's brand of aggressive reforms in Dallas resulted in massive teacher turnover, questionable spending practices, and a record number, 43 schools, failing to perform up to state standards. Honey says Houston students, parents, and staff should prepare themselves for a bumpy ride. I think they will experience a lot of turnover, a lot of um, revolving doors when it comes to top officials, administrators, teachers, support staff. Um, I think they're in for a tumultuous time, just like it was in Dallas ISD. Commissioner Mike Morath has issued a statement saying Mike Miles is an experienced educational leader with an established track record of success of improving outcomes for Texas students. Now, Miles, who, by the way, does not have an active superintendent certificate, will work with a 21-day interim contract until he is formally hired by the new board of managers, which is also handpicked by Mike Morath. Back to you.